Hello guys, it's CloudVFX and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bouncing animation in DaVinci Resolve. All plugins used in this video will be linked in the description. Be sure to download them if you want to follow along. So inside this fusion composition, I have the letter H just sitting there with no animation and I want to add some bouncing to it. So I'm going to bring in my preset called CL Bounce. Big thanks to Escape Edits for helping with this. This is absolutely amazing. So you may notice at first that your letter gets extremely small. That's completely normal. All you have to do is turn up particle size and that should fix the problem for the most part. If it's still too small, you can just get a transform node and increase the size. All you have to do is position your starting point and then on the green input, put any shape or mask. So I'm going to make this random shape right here. And then you have to specify the gravity or you could keep it at default settings and just play. If you want to see the trail of the bouncing, you could click on the bounce trail mode and you could play around with the sliders to see how the bounce is modified over time. And all of this is real time processing. So you can change the starting position and it will update automatically. And if you want the bounce to stop after a while, all you have to do is keyframe velocity friction going from zero to one. As long as you do that, the bouncing will stop. And then there are these fade in and out controls. The in will fade the start of the trail and the out will fade the end of it. And that's how you make a cool bouncing animation inside DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys can cook with an effect like this. But if you thought this was over, no, there's another bouncing animation that you can do inside of Fusion. This one is unfortunately a paid utility and you have to cough up $24 USD for it. But I highly recommend it if you want to make some squash and stretch kind of cartoony looking animations inside of Fusion. And this guy made it really, really easy. All you have to do is specify your starting height. So I wanted my height to be off screen and then you have to specify the gravity, bounciness, and you just let it play and you have a very nice squash and stretched animation. So then if you go down to this page right here, baseline timing, you can specify how long you want the bounce to pause at the bottom. So if I make this like two, for example, now it's a really defined squash at the bottom. And then it also comes with somersaults. As you can see, it's doing its thing. It's doing flips. So yeah, if you want to do tricks on it, another thing that this node features is is the ability to save the bounce data so you can save it and then get out a bounce save node and basically what this does uh, you press get bounce data and you can apply this bounce animation to anything else that this is connected to use the center point expression however when you use expressions you don't get motion blur because the keyframes are not interpolated. So the motion blur will not work properly with the expressions. It works way better with the set center point keys. So I'm gonna right click this, remove expression, and click set center point keys. And you gotta make sure you're on frame zero when you do this. So now I have my animation parented to the box. Go to settings and turn on motion blur, and it looks flawless. Another thing I could do with this is, again, go to frame zero, click on set angle keys, set squash and stretch keys, and now I have the full animation playing within this transform node modified by the bounce anim node. So you can make some pretty cool stuff with this. And I hope you guys use these in your future videos. You can make some cool motion graphics or some weird jug effects. The possibilities are endless. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Clout VFX out.